Alright, in this video, I'm going to construct a 3D building by using AutoCAD 3D. I hope if this year was 2005, this video might have reached maybe 50,000 views. But you know, this is 2021 and probably nobody in this world will use AutoCAD 3D to construct a building. So, you know, uh, anyways, but we will create it. The first thing is uh, you should like to draw this asset right and probably some layers uh, don't care much about layer but the only one thing we have to care is uh, assign all those furnitures uh, or assign all those windows right into a single layer and you know do not create any opening for all these doors you have to probably extend uh, or you can um, yeah, do not leave any opening for doors I can extend it come on go away and this one and uh, you know before doing everything I like to extend it this one and this one so that will reach there and uh, this one and uh, this one so the last door is this one okay so right now we have assigned all those doors and you know you have to enable the cube right there if your cube is not visible let's get into cube and uh, turn it on the cube uh, plays a very important role in navigation or you can make use of shift and uh, roller key a middle mouse button oh the, the simple tool is you can use a um, press pull press pull and you can see that the mouse is really big the um, pick box or the box which you see here is very big so if your extends is not properly visible it, it might be a little hard for you to press pull it so in order to change the size of that pick box and uh, it can give a value maybe closer to two and then you have to press pull it press pull and uh, maybe give him a height of 300 do the same case for everything and uh, you know don't give 300 every time I just only want to pick up a point on the existing top wall surface so I hope that all the doors I hope that all the walls are clear now let's uh, construct doors uh, really that's not a big deal and the first point pick the point and select the top of the wall pick the inner point and select the top of the wall and the last asset is right here and pick up the top of the wall here so all those doors and all those openings are completed right now and now let's uh, try to uh, recall those window layer now that's all about creating a door and the next thing is i would like to select the um, yeah let's uh, draw a polyline here so the polyline should extend from okay i already drawn a polyline here and i would like to offset it maybe 10 units inside and uh, I like to select that polyline. So if the selection is not proper, enable selection cycling by getting into here. And um, I like to select the base. And I like to copy that polyline. And uh, now before copying, turn on ortho. The size should be 210. Why? Because uh, that height shows the lint level. Okay, now let's create an opening for door. Now, well, the next thing is uh, let's uh, construct the door, door opening. Uh, for that, uh, either you have to change the UCS plane on top of the surface, or you have to enable the dynamic UCS by pressing F6. So you can see the dynamic UCS is turned on. Now, let me draw a rectangle here using the first point should be here and uh, using rectangle. Yeah, using a rectangle, I can say the first point is here, and you know that probably is not snapping anywhere. So you can make use of UCS function by turning off the dynamic input. Okay, so first turn off the dynamic input by hitting F6, and uh, you know get into UCS and uh, make use of the face option here. I like to pick up the face and uh, accept it, and you can draw a rectangle. Maybe by using the first point here and second point will be probably here 
and you see the object snap is not uh, properly visible so for that you have to extract edges uh, for extracting edges I like how in order to extract the edges and uh, for that you can go for X edges X edges and uh, I like to select all of this building and so what extract it just does is you know that will create a separate line here okay maybe with that line you can possibly object snap here from first point here and uh, just look at that the second point will be right here and okay so you can press pull it press pull use the inner point and go inside so maybe if you get into the shaded view you can say that opening is right here and so let's uh, recreate opening on all of these faces so maybe let's have an opening here and for the press pull click inside and uh, it's probably let's uh, draw a rectangle here before drawing rectangle I would like to um, turn on dynamic UCS and uh, maybe the first point will be here at the intersection and the second point will be here and you can make use of press pull go inside okay so we can see that opening is right here do the same process every time uh, that's really crazy you know let's draw a line here and I would like to copy that line to get the lintel and uh, you know that will be like maybe 210 show the direction and type 210 so I get a line here and I like to draw a rectangle maybe from first intersection here to second intersection here and do the same case you can press pull it I'm making the first point here and second point here and you know I like to extend this line maybe to right yep and um, do the same thing draw a rectangle and uh, you can press pull it okay last point here I missed press pulling here so I'm getting crazy every time for typing press pulling so there's a press pull option here and uh, I think why this is not getting up if you, you can press pull right here there's an option for press pulling the interface to the inner wall there it's quite simple there are tons and tons of way now let's uh, copy this stuff right in the vertical axis and given that height of uh, 210 and you can go for press pulling and um, maybe first point and second point so that's all about door opening now let's try to create windows right there so you know the height of windows is uh, maybe like I'm gonna offset it the height of windows I think this will be um, 120 so I'm gonna copy this at 120 and uh, and I possibly like to copy that copy go down 120 okay that's great let's draw all those windows there and now for drawing windows I'll like to get into the wireframe you know first I'd like to project the uh, extends of the windows maybe the window goes right from here and uh, I draw a line from this point right into the top now the window should exist right here so I draw a rectangle and we're seeing the first point here and second point here so that will be how we create window opening so now press pull and go inside so if you get into the shaded view you can see that will be the opening for windows do the same case every time um, you know I'm so lazy so now you got the procedure in creating windows here right now let's create a uh, blend you know the height of the blend is 45 so and simply extrude it don't go for press pull and uh, this goes right into 45 now see let's um, create these stairs here now for order to create these stairs uh, this will mow a little bit down so maybe you can mow it uh, maybe 15 units down and the second stair will go like um, 
45 units down. Okay, so we can either press pull or we can either, you know, the high goes 15. And here goes the second asset and, uh, oh man. I can go for press pull. Um, that goes down 15 and uh, this goes up 15. Okay. If you would like to fill these points here, you can either go for press pull. First point and second point should be anywhere on to this surface. Oh, where did you go? So that's it. And uh, well, that's it. Now let's uh, create a roof here. And uh, in order to create roof, we are having the base a polyline right here. And I like to copy that polyline from maybe first point to second point. I turn on, turn off the UCS. All right, into the ground plane. So get into UCS and hit world. So the UCS will be resetted, and uh, we can make use of offset command, offset, and uh, maybe the reflex in 60 centimeter outside. I think probably there might be a polyline here and uh, offset it out. I can go for either if you would like to have a flat roof, you can go for extrude and give up a thickness, or if you want to have a slope roof, I'd like to maybe give it a 60 degree and uh, you can pick up a point right here. Okay, so we got everything what we want, and now finally we'd like to have the actual door here so in order to create a door we'd like to select the polyline which represent the door so as there is no polyline you can draw a polyline maybe from first point to second point that's right here and I'd like to select this polyline and now uh, you see I like to isolate that as the other part might interfere with my work so this will be the external frame so the door should exist inside so for that I would like to well explode this figure I don't want to have any bottom side so this will be the pattern now I'd like to join this so it has to become a 3d polyline so now in order to draw the actual door we like to have the door frame so maybe I can make use of polyline uh, well I have no idea on the dimension or the distance. I'm doing some random clickings. Okay, after drawing some random clickings, I can go for a sweep. And I like to pick up the path. So that's the door frame. Not really considering a super accurate. Not really getting into super. I don't want to be super accurate by fixing up all these things. Uh, just a representation will be enough. Now I like to change the material. So, uh, so I'm making change the material by getting into R mat. Need not select this thing, and uh, by getting into R mat, I like to, or uh, maybe I like to have a wooden material right on top of here. Oh, wood. Yeah, just drag and drop a wood. Alright, that's enough. Let me create a door frame. So, in order to create a door frame, there you can go for a rectangle. Um, we have first point to uh, maybe the second point. And I like to offset it, or you can like uh, to have extrusion that goes inside maybe five. And again, let me change the material of that door our mat and uh, like to have another door um, now I like to have another wood all right some drag and drop not really considering the size of that as you can well get into visualize and I like to well change the size by getting into material mapping yeah, box and I like to select it and maybe I like to change the size by uh, dragging this box in. Drag, drag, drag. Drag, drag. Anyway, it says enough. Oh, 
well now that's enough i'm not really um getting super accurate into that so that's how i'll be creating door and the same process can be done to create windows all right well i'm ending this video right now and um i don't know when is really watching this video why because drawing assets in autocad 3d will be much much crazier